This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. And they've been off for six weeks as we went through a rough winter here, so nobody's been riding. Right before we started winter was the first time Melody connected at any gates. So now we're, it was a wild start to the day. We had to lunge her first because the windows, that's really nice, Trudy. I mean, I took a half halt and she came right back. Oh, good. She usually wants to rush, rush, rush. Bring your seat under you more for your half halt. So we're using the Robert Dover half halt. And we've been doing half halts before. Now we've just added the breath. So Trudy breathes in until her stomach comes back, lifts up her chest brings that breath to the back where her shoulder blades come back together and then adjusts her seat so that it's forward and underneath of her shoulder underneath of her shoulders good of course at the same time she's doing this she softly closes her thighs and legs just to hug in just a little bit and as soon as melody responds she gets softer with her aids good put her back under your seat and now we're going to go to the connection steps these are taught by Arthur Cotis, the former director of the Spanish Riding School. First, soften her with your inside rein and leg. Now, 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 now. And there, she's using her inside hind leg and rein at the same time the inside hind is off the ground. Good. Now check her pole because you can feel she's twisting her head too much to the left, to the inside. So that's where you're going to add your outside rein and leg to soften her first in the jaw, then to make sure her pole is loose as the outside hind leg is coming back and you'll feel her shoulder coming back. Good, she's staying under your seat. So it'd be outside would be now, now, when the outside hind leg is off the ground. Take your time, just feel it. Point your belly button in the direction you go so that your thighs are telling her which direction to go. Author teaches that the rider uses their thighs to influence the horse's shoulder. Good, good, praise her a lot. Half halt, that's where you do a half halt because when you feel her go in front of the saddle, she's not being bad. She's just not staying connected and this whole thing is now she's to a point where we can keep her more connected. This is nice how nice she's staying soft, Trudy. Good, soften her jaw. I want to apply the half halt during the trot, I should sit the trot. Well, yes, you should be sitting when you're doing the half halt. So when you're doing it, you might just sit two or three steps and then go back to rising trot or just keep sitting if she's going slow enough and you just do it until you feel her come under your seat and then you give her a mini stretch that mini stretch might just be a couple inches but you always soften after you bring them together good put her back together so she's under your seat praise her soften her whichever side you feel if she's leaning on the right rein and leg soften her jaw Get her to soften back to your right leg, good. And then switch to the other side. Good, good, praise her. Good, how's she feeling? Pretty good. Put a little, you know, every now and then she gets a little bit of like right here. That, that's right, that's when she disconnects, so you know when she's gonna do it. That's when you're gonna play a little bit with suppling. Get her to soften her jaw with the inside rein and leg, then the outside rein and leg. Then you can get her to soften her pole, give you a longer neck so you have the rainbow. That's right. Use your thighs to bring her shoulder over by pointing your belly in. That's it. And then of course, you, whenever you use the inside rein or leg, you're gonna use your leg at the same time. Take your time. When you feel her get quick, that's when you're going to supple her on the outside rein and leg. So when that's it, feel her getting quick, that's when you supple her, soften the outside jaw just a little bit so she's back under your seat. That's it. So now you're going to, as you change direction, your focus is can you keep her under your seat? Good. Get the outs. Good, good. Supple her more on the outside rein and leg, soften her jaw, make sure she's loose in her pole so that her neck is loose and her back is loose. Good. Again, she's using her rein and leg at the same time. Good. Take your time. Perfect. Take your time. Remember, you're going to say, Melody, listen to my... Good! That's it. She stayed connected. So normally, like a lot of horses, your horse may be like that. When she does an upward or downward transition, Melody doesn't stay under Trudy's body. But that's where she was in her training. Now we're asking her for more of a connection. Again, this is the third time. So this is a huge change for those of you who have been following Melody. Good. Because she wants to twist her head to the left. 
If she's twisting her head too much to the left, you're holding your left rein too long. I know, it's a lot to think about at one time. I mean, this is only the third time we've asked her to stay connected like this and the, you know, the other times were right before winter started. So this is impressive. She's giving you what she is. It took us maybe three years to get Melody where we could even start to connect her because she had so many issues. Thigh. Yeah, what do your thighs normally do? That's right. Good, good. You're feeling it. So what this, what she's really getting today is that normally on some of the movements, whether it was her hunt seat background or whatever, when she's been asking a horse to stay under her seat, she's been loosening her thighs. Good, good. You need a break. So what are you feeling as you do this, Trudy? Um, well, I feel like she's got a lot of good push, but at times she just gets a little Yes, yes. She's nice and springy today. Time she gets so strong, I have to, you know, really. You know, well, she and she's so quick about it. Yeah, she's she's got a really quick step. Yes, that was I nice. No, maybe we should leave that alone. Maybe that's supposed to be the way she goes, but I don't think. No, so. it's not. It's just because you know she was severely ADHD, had a lot of issues. Remember when she couldn't canter, couldn't canter on the hind leg for a couple years. Pacing at her gates. She used to stick her tongue out. Her ears were back. She was always rolling her eyes. Spinning her tail. Spinning her tail all the time. That's right. So you to bring a horse back from that is like a miracle. Uh, Woo! -hoo! Mockingbird. That's bad. <laughs> that would be the hotness. You never know with Melody. Says I have a good seat, but I don't know. I think I just know it could happen. Could happen anytime. <laughs>